Hey, I'm Mark. I'm a Salterio player, and these are my 18th century style Ditali. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to recoil them. So I want to go over materials. So you'll need some bird quills, preferably ones that are fairly hard and stiff. Um, this one's a seagull. You can see it has a really long quill, which is great. And then this one's a goose feather. Um, that one's much harder than the seagull one, as you'll see. I could bend it with my fingers. I like my quills a little harder than this one here. As you can see, it's a little squishy. Um, then you'll need a nail file, um, an X-Acto knife with a new blade, brasso if you want to polish while the quills are out. And you'll definitely want to clean them at least with some soapy water and some olive oil for the soak. So about a week before you requill your ditali, you're going to want to soak them in either almond or olive oil. And then I'll get a bit more into what types of quills and what other materials historically were used for the nails. I like to use brass polish every time I requill my ditali just to make sure there's no like rust buildup on the ditali because that makes your fingers turn green. So um, It'll happen anyway, but this is just like a nice extra step to do. The type of quill you should use is one that would be also maybe suitable for calligraphy. So it's got to be the primary feather of the wing. Um, and some of the types of birds you can use are turkey, swan, crow, goose. Um, I've also used seagull, like I already mentioned, but that didn't really work so well. Some of the other materials that were used historically for the nail part of the deep belly include tortoiseshell, horn, and ivory. After you've polished your deep belly, you're going to want to get the rest of the polish off and also any grime that might be in any of the flaps. Um, so just leave it in the warm soapy water for like 30 minutes and then dry it off. So these have been soaking for about a little under a week um, in olive oil. So we're going to try cutting these. So once you wipe off all the oil, I'm just going to do a little bit more with a clean towel. Just to make sure it's all off. You're going to want to cut with the feather flat. You see this is like kind of a, well not this one in particular, but a lot of quills are usually more flat on this side and then kind of like have a sharper curve here. So you want these to be flat as possible. So you're going to cut from the middle, stick your knife in. gently cut and make sure you don't go all the way through because you can end up cutting it really crooked and then slice the other side and then you split it clean out the inner gunk have two quills. So for this part, you're going to want to get one of your old Itali um, and pull out the old quill just to measure roughly. And then you're going to want to cut off like most of this. This can be a straight cr cut here. And then we measure here. And I like to make them a little bit longer and then um, shave it as a needed. So I'm gonna cut here. And do it like a down, downwards angle. You can 
curve it a little bit to your liking. And when you're cutting, make just make sure it's little pieces and you don't cut like directly up on top or else it'll crack. It doesn't really matter if it's cracked on the bottom, but it definitely matters if it's cracked at the top. So for opening up this flat, if you have this, this little flap, if you have this model, you just stick your knife in there and open it up a little bit. And you stick your quill in. And then you can file. Now that the quill's in place, you're gonna to wanna to close the flap and make sure the quill is nice and secure. During the requilling process, your detail are probably gonna get a little bit warped. Um, so the best way to fix that and make sure they're at the correct size is by getting some flat-headed uh, pliers that don't have any grip in them, just flat. And then by pushing on the sides from the top. And that will make sure it's like more of a cone shape that matches your finger curves and you just play around with it until it fits. So the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is voice your detali and make sure that the quills are at the right size and shape. So while you're practicing, um, make sure you use all the different fingers to make sure that they're the right size and then um, file them. The size does matter, like you could hit the strings underneath but I guess you can get used to it too. Um, and then also the tips, if they're curved, the sound is, I like the sound the, the most when it's curved and then you could have it like even more flat than this and then pointer if you want. So if you go flatter, it'll be more of a softer dull sound and then when it's pointier, it's more shrill and sharp. So you could play around with that and experiment.